everybody, Cheryl here. Um, this video here is um, a little bit of an update um, on my house situation. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been on lately. I haven't really been doing a lot of commenting. I haven't been really <clears throat> doing a lot of watching of videos either because I've just been just crazy, outrageously, just crazy busy. Um, basically, what has happened was um, right around Christmas Eve, uh, we were told that we were outbid on our home and we tried to hustle and, you know, work real fast and try to get it, you know, um, try to get our financing in order. But as everybody knows, on Christmas Eve and Christmas, no bank is open, um, nobody's around to really do anything so yeah we didn't get much accomplished so the people who outbid us was a cash offer and they were able to just come in and do what they had to do um so i've been trying to just enjoy my Christmas with my family as, as this, you know, being our last Christmas here in our home that we've been in for 10 years. And um, so basically all weekend and then all day today, literally up until five minutes ago, I've been on the phone um, trying to find a rental. Um, because honestly, with less than 30 days to vacate, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get secure financing in place. And I guess, you know, with everything that I've thought about and, you know, just going through, um, you know, discussing our options and stuff, um, I just don't want to take a chance of trying to purchase another property, which I was looking at my landlord's house, which is across the street from me. Um, cause honestly that house would have been perfect for us too. Um, it was, you know, four bedroom and it has an office and it, it just would have been perfect. Um, but I don't want to take a chance because I've been working through the USDA since July, um, to try to get our financing in order, but there's hoops and more hoops and more hoops and more hoops and more hoops, and we jumped them all. And um, right before they closed down for Christmas, um, my husband spoke to the woman who, well, he, it was supposed to be he was trying to get a hold of the woman who was working on our loan process, but she was out of the office. And so he spoke to her manager. And the manager pulled our files because he said, listen, this is dire. We need to know we're going to be homeless. Um, there's nothing for rent. We're, you know, <laughs> there's people actively looking at the house. And at that point, um, there were people bidding on the house. Um, so the, the supervisor pulled our file and basically said that the woman who was working on our loan screwed a bunch of things up. You know big surprise, right? <laughs> That's just seems to be how things go for me. Um, so with all that said, she wanted us to go back through the loan process, refile all the paperwork, which we did. Um, but then that left Christmas because they were, you know, leaving for Christmas. And it just, it just was a big, big nightmare. So um, we, we went ahead and filled it out, but then as I was talking to my husband today, I said, this, now we have the verification. Um, the owners called me today and said that the people actually bought the house and we have 30 days. So now we're looking at 30 days. And I said, well, I need to look out for the welfare of myself and my, my children. Um, no, they're not. I only have one child now. The other one's an adult. He lives with me, but still, I mean, he's still my son, and I still feel responsible and 
you know, there's five of us here. So I said that, um, let's just, you know, let's, let's rent a place. Let's find a rental. And that's been a complete nightmare. I don't want to get in and make this video super long. So, um, long story short, nothing for rent. Rents have skyrocketed, um, I just literally wanted to crawl back under the covers and just hide and I didn't I um you know did some more searching did some more looking I almost and I'm glad I didn't signed the lease on a teeny tiny 800 square foot house that would have been a nightmare moving five of us into um and literally, as I was looking online, somebody had just listed a house. So keep me in your prayers. I'm going to look at that tomorrow. Um, he had just listed it literally today. Um, it's a lot more than I'm willing to pay. It's $300 more a month than what I'm paying now. Um, I took into consideration there was no water bill. I which will save me 120 bucks a month. I took into consideration that, you know, I called the utility companies and things, and I, I kind of played around with the numbers, and it looks like yeah, we might be okay. Um, but I haven't really seen the house yet. Um, the good news is, is it's a four-bedroom. It's a two-car garage. It's on three acres. Um, there's a upper and lower level. So the lower level has, uh, like, I guess you'd call it a, a living area that I can turn into my little office and my husband, he works out of the house so he can, I guess, share that with me because right now I'm working out of <laughs> the dining room and it'll be good to have our dining room back because this house has an up, you know, on the upstairs, it has the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, three bedrooms and two and a half baths. And then the downstairs has the additional living area, a bedroom and a bathroom. So um, there's going to be plenty of room for us there. I just hope that the house is nice. <laughs> um, I don't know what it really looks like. I'll, like I said, I'm going to go there tomorrow and take a peek at it and see but right now, that looks like my only option um, that's in this area as far as trying to keep Andrew, my youngest, in the school district. Um, so he'll still be in the same school district, which will be good. Um, I do know there's another home for rent that's uh, about an hour from here, which I guess will be another option for us to look at if, uh, if we don't like this one. But I'm crossing my fingers that... This one we're going to look at tomorrow is going to work. Just keep us in your prayers. Um, I'm going to try to get out. We're having a blizzard right now. Um, we've already got about, I don't know, 18 inches of snow on the ground. So <laughs> we'll see how tomorrow is. But um, yeah, I am absolutely not loving the fact that I'm going to be moving in January. January in Wisconsin is not a fun time to move. Um not only that, they sold my place so fast. Um, I didn't get my pool down, so I still have a pool up. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I guess they just bought themselves a pool. Um, I guess whatever it is what it is. But <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to touch base with everybody to say thank you so much for, for your thoughts and your prayers and for being there. And I wanted to apologize for that I've just been kind of hiding out. I mean, I don't. I don't really depress easy. I'm not really a, a person who gets quote unquote depressed. Um, I guess, uh, you know, I'm, I've got uh, anxiety and PTSD and I tend to do the fight or flight more than going into a cocoon. Um, I was more angry when I did my video where I was really upset. I was more angry and scared and confused. Um, and as things unfolded, um, I guess I would say that that was the closest I ever felt to being depressed in my life. Um, you know, and I guess hiding and, you know, not doing anything was not very productive. And I, you know, I just, I tried my best and, 
I did what I do best, which is, you know, I just pulled it together and I said, listen, we got to figure this out regardless, regardless. And um, I keep on trucking. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do here because, you know, I you got to move forward and I can't just lay in bed and pull the covers over my head. I just can't do that. And I haven't done that yet. I don't plan to do that. Um, but like I said, I was very angry and very hurt and very confused and very scared. And I still am, um, you know, regardless the stuff that the realtor has put us through, a lot of the stuff has been very illegal that she has done. Um, there's been a few other things that I haven't talked about that we were told we should go to an attorney about, um, you know, people who are racist, um, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. So, um, yeah, my, my husband, um, he has had to deal with some of that stuff. Um, but I'm not usually one who wants to stir up troubles. I just want to just keep going and move forward. And I haven't decided what to do yet. Um, but I know a lot of stuff that has happened was wrong. But um, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. And my update is basically, you know, and I didn't, I couldn't give you an update till I knew. And I really didn't know until this morning. So I'm sorry if, like I said, if I've just been very quiet. Um, it's not that I've been quiet because I've been quiet. It's because I've been just super, super, super busy um, trying to figure this out and think things through and talk to my husband and um, my family and try to figure out a good plan of action. And it looks like um, my plan of action is finding a rental property for now and maybe revisit buying. And um, as much as me and my husband want to live down in Florida where it's warm, maybe that's just what's in the cards for us. You know, maybe um, God wanted us to be in Florida. And right now, if we bought a house in Wisconsin, that meant we were stuck up here even longer. So um, I guess we'll see what we can do as far as, uh, you know, the future holds. I'm just going to try to look at right now and what's in front of me right now and what's in front of me right now is I need to find secure home for my family and I think I did so again tomorrow at 3 30 I'm going to be looking at this property so keep me in your prayers um, I will update you as I know what's going on and again thank you so much I love all of you guys immensely and I appreciate all of your advice you guys have been amazing with your advice and keep it coming because I couldn't have gotten through a lot of this without some of the, your your strong words of encouragement. Um, some of the things you guys said to me just really, you know, gave me that kick in the pants that kept me going forward. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. And I thank you. And I'm going to push this video on because it's 13 minutes in. And I have a few little alloy things I want to show. So I'm going to do that video next um, and get it up. Because, uh, like I said, I ordered some alloys and I wanted to offer some of those to you guys. So, um, hopefully I'll get the other ones in soon because they're slowly trickling in here. <laughs> so, anyway, you guys have a blessed evening. I hope you guys are staying warm. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Bye.